It's very hard when you're not a waterman to get on with the rest of your life when you're living 10 miles off the mainland. Of the 52 islands in the Chesapeake Bay, most are uninhabited. Some have been turned into wildlife sanctuaries. A few are home to small fishing communities. Tom Horton is the author of four books about the Chesapeake, including the award-winning Bay Country. His next book is about one of those islands in the Bay. Working on one on, on Smith Island, a uh, community of watermen 10 miles off the mainland, right on the Maryland-Virginia line, where I, I took my family to live from 87 to, to 89. It's not as strictly environmental as my other books. It's, uh, I guess it's an exploration of people and how they're shaped by a place. I, I always remembered a, a poet, Gilbert Byron, who died recently. He was a Bay poet from Maryland. Uh, wrote this nice line about oystermen coming to a cove and inscribing with their tongs verses of love on the bottom. And he called them the greatest poets who never wrote a line. Oystermen out there in the winter would say, I don't feel like no poet, you know, but the fact is there is a, a certain integrity, I think, about a life spent making one's living from nature, and, and, and it, it really can, in moments, be elevated to, to levels of poetry, and I think even Waterman would, would say that, some moments. I was just fascinated by how people have uh, have been wedded to a place and a lifestyle that was enforced by the place, a, a marsh island in the middle of the bay with no options other than to, to oyster and crab and fish for close to three centuries now. That's a, that's a long time to sustain a, a community and a lifestyle in this day and time.